Here we are going to do a simple burrito. Um, you just take an off-white piece of clay and roll it out really, really thin. The thinner, the better on that. I just rolled it out with um, the edge of a flashlight. I have an old little little flashlight that broke, and I'm just I just took it apart because I can use the circle part of it as a cutter, and it works really good. And there's several different sizes. Like this is the top where you'd point the light. And um, like right there makes a really good circle cutter. You just need to make sure that you can stick your finger through one side to, to poke it out. Anyway, so I took the circle cutter, I cut it out, and then this is my tortilla. Now I have basically uh, the same thing I do with icing right here for like the, the, the beans and the mushiness that goes on the inside. And the icing is all it is is... Um, it's just translucent liquid Sculpey, TLS, and clay. And you would mix TLS with a little bit of light brown clay for this. This is actually um, some peanut butter from my peanut butter and jelly. And you make the icing the same way. You just mix it up, and then you can save it, and you have a jar with extra stuff you can use for various things. Now, don't overstuff it. Just use an old toothpick and put some color in there. There's your goop. You have slightly more in the middle than on the edges. This will also um, act as a glue. Now, you could take teeny tiny pieces of, I mean, I'm talking teeny, teeny tiny pieces of dark brown you could put in there for, um, like, beans if you wanted to, but I'm not going to because it's just so tiny, I don't think it's going to matter. Then you just fold it like a regular burrito. Fold one side over and then the edge and I'm a terrible burrito maker but I'll try and then you fold the other edge over and then your last one and see I'm not getting it exactly perfect I am terrible at burritos anyway so you fold that last side over and then you have there's the you know one side of your burrito normally burritos would be served you know the opening side down so they don't get all over the place and if you're gonna do that take your pastels and this is what I'm using Reeves soft pastel set and I'm gonna use a um, darker yellow and I have just a dry paintbrush wipe it on there and then I wipe the coloring on my burrito and that way it looks like it's been cooked and it'll give it the different dimensions like uh, you know toasted I'm gonna go back with a little bit of dark brown and I'm gonna toast oopsie that's too much okay I'm gonna spread that around as best I can maybe put a little of the dark yellow on top of it Burritos will not be perfect. If you're not going to see the bottom, don't worry about it. If you are, then go ahead and, you know, cover it too with your paintbrush. And here is your little burrito. Now, what I've done with a different one, and it got all squished. I'm going to try and do this one. Um, you may bake it at this point, or you can try and slice it first. I would recommend slicing it carefully try and rock your blade so that way you're not completely squishing all the meat inside or the, you know the beans or whatever now I've pretty well squished it so you can't see it now take a little bit more of your beans and wipe it on the lower edge of where you'd cut and then if you had a little plate that it was going on. Oh, I switched one end. Just take your time with it. It's going to stick to me, of course. And then I'm taking the other side. show you those burritos 
You can always add a little bit of more beans down here if you want. Let go. Or you can stack them just like that. Unintentionally done, but you get the idea. And there's your little burritos.